Hey, what's up all my broskies and welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I want to keep this one short and sweet like one of grandma's fresh baked cookies. Yep, you know what I'm talking about. Those delicious chocolate chips where the inside is chewy and the outside is nice and crunchy because today I'm going to show you five cool Lego tricks that mess with your mind. Now, don't worry. I'm not going to hypnotize you. We're going to talk about some tricks that don't really seem possible in Lego. Tricks that are very bewildering, mystifying, and discombobulating. I should probably stop sounding like a seventh grade English teacher, so let's go. Hey, my name is Ty, current ambassador of Spice Nation International. You want to learn how to build like a boss? Let's do that in today's video. Now this first Lego trick is the melting effect. Now I recently was scooping some ice cream, a piece dropped on the floor, and I didn't get to lick it up in five seconds so it started melting. It made me sad knowing that I lost a piece of ice cream, but it also gave me an idea to try this trick out, which is simply taking any object that could melt, like a chocolate bar, and then setting it on top of this really smooth rounded off layer of pieces. And this very smooth layer of pieces gives off the look that the object is melting. To give a more realistic melting effect, I have the popsicle so it's sort of at an angle. And to do that, I use some slopes and laid this thing upside down. This next trick is what I like to call the gravity effect. Well, I just came up with that off the top of my head. It sounds really like professional, so I'll roll with it. Now, I've seen a couple modern buildings where it looks like a section of the building is gonna fall. So I wanted to recreate this with a micro scale building to really get my point across. But for one section of this building, I have it moved over. It gives a very uh, interesting, stylish kind of look, and it almost looks like it's, it's glitching out. Also related to gravity is another trick that I like to call the floating effect. And it's a really interesting one, but it's also really simple. Here, I made a floating island in miniature scale. Now underneath this island, there's nothing supporting it. But what actually supports it is this waterfall trickling down on the side. In your mind, you associate water as something that's not structural, something that's very fluidy and liquidy. But in this case, water is what's actually holding this uh, this island up. So that sort of mind illusion is what makes this trick really cool. The only issue with this trick that I found is um, you got to make sure that you really cut down the weight of what's being held up because if it's too heavy, it's going to really sag. Okay, lady chickens, here's another cool trick. And it's putting a black border around your builds. It's something simple, but it creates a mysterious abstract look almost like a void if You guys play Minecraft. You know what I'm talking about It's almost like a void of nothingness and it gets you to wonder what lies beyond those borders But it also gets you to focus on the actual subject of your build and to even spice it up I have some of the border broken off so that some of the real world in this build is like flowing off to the outside And for this final design, here's a very simple mandala actually I should have not said that. I regret saying that because you know what? This is actually really hard to build. Don't let that discourage you though. Try this out. You just have to be really patient because it's freaking tedious. Make a little circular bowl with a flat surface that you can just start laying down uh, random pieces into. Preferably, I like to use these cheesy wedgies, little like Swiss cheese pieces for like the triangles. And then I also like to use some of these studs for the circles. You gotta get a nice little mix in there, you know? And uh, boom, if you're patient enough, you you'll get this very beautiful looking mandala. So try this out. This was a fun video to make and I wanna make more videos like this. So that's the reason why I only did five ideas in this video because I wanna spread it out a little bit. Take that peanut butter and uh, spread out on that toast a little bit more. So if you wanna see more videos like this, comment down below, follow me on TikTok. I know I've been throwing a bunch of stuff at you lately. Been throwing out my Patreon, my Instagram. I'm not trying to be some door to door salesman here. Go follow my TikTok if you haven't. It's gonna get pretty lit up in there. Hope you all had an amazing experience. It was a pleasure to be your captain on this flight. Take care and keep on building.